Good morning and good afternoon because we're almost there. We are not doing a get ready with me this morning or today. Uh, an order that I've been patiently waiting for is finally here from Glam Light. I've never tried anything from Glam Light. And I'm not going to be trying to make it on right now unless I'm like, hmm, let's give this a, a try. I'm in uh, PJs, staying in PJs, not getting dressed. It's another Criminal Minds kind of day. Grace just got home from school. She got into it with the gym teacher. And so she came home and I was like, um, you could have stayed at school for that. But, you know, I'm not going to bother getting into that with her. Anyways, I'm about to make two drinks. I just had a tuna sandwich because it's 1130. I'm just not liking breakfast. I should stand up. I'm not liking breakfast food. Um... So, I had a tuna sandwich this morning, so far, well, just, I just finished it before she walked in the door. I will probably have, I'm, I think today I'm going to eat exactly how I ate yesterday because it, I felt good for what I ate. Like, I didn't feel weird or anything. So, I'll have a banana, and I tell you what, okay, those lemon Laura bars are delicious. Probably my... They were my favorite Laura bars, but my favorite Laura bars now, and I'm probably once a month, I'm, this will be one thing that I pick up for myself, is a box of the Laura bars. The double chocolate truffle. Yes, please. Can we get a hallelujah? Can we get an amen? These are so good. Um, I'm not a chocolate person, but... I'm gonna take one of these out. So when I, if I decide I want a snack later, I'll have a banana, one of these, and I think I might actually add an apple today. And you're like, Tammy, what about vegetables? Uh, I can't do vegetables. I can do like roasted broccoli, maybe some roasted carrots or whatever. But I do have cucumber and peppers. But did I buy those for anything? One second. I just. When you're IBS and stuff like that, I just, I can't do the vegetables. Not like I was doing, I just spent the entire time in the bathroom. I can do fruit. So the fruits that we picked up, I picked up apples, bananas, and pears. I think Grace is eating the pears. If I see her slacking off, I'll probably have one. But um, I did notice yesterday, I got hungry. Like my, my stomach was actually growl growling. Because I'm trying to reel in, because I'm such a procrastinator and I have like, my brain just can't focus. I I don't want to put too much emphasis on me doing workouts right now as much as I want to put emphasis on me getting my eating down pat. Did I take out matcha? Okay, so I'm about to make a matcha. And I'm also going to make a, I think I want to take one of these apples out. Are these ones even open? No, I think I want one of those apples though today too. Anyways, I want a snack. I'm gonna have a Laura bar, a banana, which I'll just take off now and put in the living room on the my thing. And I'll probably grab an apple too. Anyways, I noticed yesterday I did get hungry. I'm gonna make matcha. I wanna get my eating down pat to make sure I'm eating and not skipping too many meals. And it's not, yeah, I don't want to eat three times a day, but I think I need to eat two twice a day. Anyways, I had a tuna sandwich on that low sugar bread, or that sugar-free bread. The bread's good. Ooh, I need to open this, because for... Actually, I need this too, because this was good. Do I want, no, I don't want green tea. Oops. I don't know if this is caffeine free. So yesterday I had tuna sandwich, banana, one of the Laura bars. I had a handful of dill pickle chips in the afternoon and I ate pop tarts. I wanted to sit down and eat a whole bag of Oreos, but I didn't want to open the Oreos yet. So I had pop raspberry pop tarts, which by the way, they changed the raspberry pop tarts. They used to have the raspberry pop tarts where like it was like just straight up pink frosting all over the front, but the ones when 
I opened them yesterday. It's like white frosting with sprinkles on it now. It's not the same. And then I had a cup of this yesterday as well. But... Anyway, chocolatey peppermint herbal tea. This tastes like another one I've had before. It's good. I just did the hot water and nothing else. But in my matcha, I'm going to put honey in my matcha. Yeah, let me make my drinks first. Um, anyways, I'm going to put some of this freshly harvested honey. Somebody's been eating it with a spoon. We already know the culprit. And I'll put like this much honey in there. Honey is really good for you. So I've got honey in one mug, and then I'm going to put, make a tea in my other one. I'm not going to click on that. I seen that um, Neptune's mom just texted me. I'm not sure, Grace. I think she wants to play. As I'm going to fill this up with hot water. I think Grace is going to make a drink too, so I'll save some for her. Yeah, there's enough here for you to have a mug or something. I just want to get my hot drinks ready. Yeah, she said just an FYI something. I don't know. She said she feels bad that you're in a mood today, but I told her that you're fine. You'll be fine. You just got into it with the gym teacher. And I think you having a crappy sleep last night didn't help. And also the fact that those things are expired. You won't drink it. Take them out. Well, I'll drink it though. No, they're expired. What are you making? What are you going to make? Coffee. Coffee, coffee? Yes. And I'm going to put two of these. Because that's a lot. Uh, to me, that's a big mug. But yeah. Winter edition. Chocolatey peppermint herbal tea. I'm going to assume there's no caffeine. It didn't seem to affect my sleep last night. I ended up falling actually back to sleep this morning. So my alarm was set for 7.30. Yeah, I no. No. You don't have to have it, that's why. Um, my, I got up to my alarm, but uh, I pretty much fell back to sleep. Like, I just stayed laying in bed, and I fell back to sleep after Grace left. So I didn't wake up until just sometime after 10. Uh, looks like Matt and I are going to hockey game again this Saturday. Because Rick and Miriam got a wedding to go to. Yep. Making sure you sh shake it up. Um, so, we're going to go to a hockey game. They're season pass holders, whatever you want to call it. And they don't want their tickets to go to waste. Uh, and also, I think I'm going there tomorrow to clean. I didn't go last week because Matt was sick. He's pretty sure he had covid because his co-worker's fiancé tested positive for COVID. My heart was doing wonky shit since Saturday. But I tested. So I thought it was heart palpitations. No. PVCs. And I remember the cardiologist telling me that they did pick up uh, me having PVCs. And it's premature. Ventricle. It's pretty much my heart beats before it's supposed to beat. Um, and it took me a moment to realize. Because you have... The heart palpitations, they kind of feel similar, but it's PVCs. Anyways, they, it went away. They, they, I mean, they were bad to the point I was told Matt, I was like, I'm not, my chest doesn't hurt and it's not causing me any breathing difficulties. I was like, but it feels like they're out for reven revenge. That's how bad it was. Um... And it was from the time I woke up to the time I fell asleep. So I was like, I will wait and then we'll call the cardiologist and just see what he says. Like if I should come in or whatever. So, and then I was like, I'm going to test myself for COVID. Not worried about having COVID, but if that was the reason. 
Um, uh, no, negative. I had no cold symptoms, so I'm surprised that Matt had COVID and I didn't get it because, you know, sleeping in the same bed together, making out and all that stuff, swapping the spit. Um, I didn't get anything. Yeah. But it, I told Matt, something just doesn't make sense to me that the day he woke up with symptoms, the day I also woke up and I was having PVCs like it was a marathon. And they only pretty much, I noticed by, not this, I, and I'm talking last Saturday, not Saturday it just passed, but the Saturday before is when the symptoms started for him and when my PV started. And it's only this past week, I think because we're in a new week already. So it was like this past Friday, Saturday, where I noticed uh, they were starting to space out more. And now, I think I had, I felt one um, today. I need a knife. So, yeah. I told Matt, I'm even though I tested negative for... COVID, something still caused my heart to be wonky during the exact same time that he had COVID. I know my hair is wonky. It's freshly wa washed and slept on. And I'm not about to go in the bathroom to make it look cute. I probably should turn the camera around this morning, but I'm not going to. So I have my matcha open this box I think David's buying me a stand mixer eh, for Christmas because they're all on sale right now and he said if you use it I will buy you one and I was like you don't have to but are you being serious I would use it Matt and I could go buy one he's going to school soon though so we don't want to <clears throat> We gotta behave. So. Is glam light? What's that? That's oh, cool. Want to save some money? Get 15% off your net. Nope. Not doing it, guys. I contemplated getting that. Oh, get at him. <laughs> Don't be doing that. <laughs> I contemplated getting the green martini one right here. But I think I this is the one I got right here, I think. Oh, what the heck? It actually comes in the martini thing. What? Oh, look how cool that is. <laughs> really? Chocolate martini palette. I thought it was just only for people who got PR that they would get the bottle that you could put the eyeshadow palette inside. How cool is that? Oh, that's, like that's almost enough to make me want to order a second one so I could have <laughs> another one. Because they come in different colors, right? Right here. That's kind of cool. So this is the chocolate martini. Now, how to open this without breaking the case. Do you open it like a wine bottle? Honestly, I have no idea. I'm trying to see if there's tape. Yeah, I see a piece of tape right here. So this is the chocolate martini palette, in case I didn't already say that. Maybe I'll open it like this. Okay, I'm gonna open it like this. I'm gonna have to cut the tape here in order to open it. I kind of don't want to. How cool is that? So I mean, it's still, you know. So inside of here <clears throat> is the eyeshadow palette. You could use this as a pencil case holder. Cool. Oh, because oh, look, pencils would fit in here. Oh, they would too. Yeah. You could actually use that for a pencil case holder. 
It's like, am I gonna try and repurpose this? Do you want this? Yes. Yeah? That's kind of cool. I'm gonna give the case to Grace. She can put whatever, but here's the actual palette. Chocolate martini. Glamite does have some like food related eyeshadow palettes. None of them have ever appealed to me until I seen this one. And also they have another one, their other wine one or martini one was the, oh, it's the green, one with the green shades in it. I can't remember what it was called though. Dirty martini. I think that is that one. Do they have lip glosses for this set? Man, guys, tell me why my... Oh, did I peel the skin off? I did, too. Last night, this ear's been super dry with skin. Looks like I did peel redness. Peeled off last night. Anyways, here we go. Chocolate martini. You can feel the martini glass. It's, like, a bit raised. And here are... The colors. I'm just gonna move it around so you can try and see them. So it's a it's a neutral palette, but you got like an an orange in there. You got you do have a blue and some yellow gold. Some bronzy browns. I do want to... I've never tried anything from these guys. This is a nice... I think it's a duochrome, possibly. I've never tried anything from this brand. Oh, yeah. So that looks like a white to a yellow. That orange is so pretty. Hey, Grace, can you turn that lamp on, please? It's like almost 12, but it's overcast today, so... Not going to be able to really see... Look at that goofy. I barely even touching these ones. This pink one. Oh, man. Chocolate. That one looks so good. I'm not going to be able to show you guys what these actually look like until I get some better lighting. I do want to swatch, um, can you, me a piece of paper? can you get me a piece of paper towel or can you give me a, a washcloth? I want to swatch this, uh, that's a nice, man, yeah. Yeah. Just what? Chicken butt. Okay. Just kidding. I love you. Did she just hiss? Yeah, but. Ow. Oh, leave her alone then. We're playing. So these are all the shimmers. Again, I can't really show you guys, but those are all shimmers. And I feel like this top one and then this purplish one. How are like duochromes and the rest are just normal shimmers. Very pretty though. I could see me doing these just one and done. I always say one and done and I put like four or six shadows on. And this will be fun to play with. This one I wasn't going to get. Because I was. they came out with a... Nightmare and Elm Street palette, but I think that one came as a duo, like two different palettes. Um, they came out with a Ghost Face palette, which that was the one that had my eye on. And then they came out with a Jason palette or something. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the names that they did them, but, oh, maybe it was just a fight. Uh, Friday the 13th, Ghost Face Nightmare on Elm Street, and they came. Chucky was the first one, I think. I took, I spent a lot of time looking at them because I wanted to try get Glam Light, 
and I wanted to order a couple of things if I was going to do an order. Eyeshadow palettes and blush are my things, but I'm on eyeshadow palette kick right now. And I want to go out of my comfort zone with some stuff. And look at this packaging. So you got Chucky. What's her name? I always forget. Uh, give me a minute. I have a brain fart. <clears throat> It'll come to me. Anyways, Chucky and his girl, they're both on here. Crazy in love. As I think that's kind of cool. They do have a thing on the... I'll take that off. Ooh, I'm excited for those. I do have something way out of my comfort zone in here. Here's the color story. It's cool tone. It's dark. Probably like, Tammy, you don't need that. No, I don't. But out of all their Halloween ones, this one appealed the most. Because I feel like this has like deep dark purples in it. Um, and not a ton of gray. Cause like, this is like a cool tone purple. This is like, I mean, they're deep dark purples. Like these might not look like they're purple. If I had better lighting, you'd be able to see like, there are two different purples, but like super deep. I do wanna, ooh, look at that. Like, and then the shimmers is what gets me too. Like, even just doing one of these on the eye. Well, this one's kind of light, so i probably do another shade with that one. But even just doing these on the eyelid and just blending it up, I think would be so, so pretty. And these ones are, like, much more darker, deeper, like, rich shimmers versus, like, these are, like, light and, yeah. You know. I'm not going to swipe them all, am I? I don't know. Okay, there is a nice matte black in here. Oh, that's kind of cute. It says that green one that says good guys in it. It's kind of hard. This one here is free hugs. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to order that ring light this weekend. So I can, but there's in, in the matte shades, there's embossments. But it's hard to pick it up. I do want to swatch, uh... He's back. It's like a black, but it has like burgundy sparkles in it. It's probably one of those shades that the sparkles might not show up. Kinda. Yeah, I feel like that. Kind, that's the kind of shade where you can. I can kind of see it. You guys probably can't. Oh, I feel like that would, uh, the sparkles are probably, that's a nice black though. I feel like the sparkles would just depissitate, whatever you want to call that. However you say that. So this one has three, four, five, six, seven shimmers and six, seven, eight mattes. Which is a good, that's good actually. I think this is a nice black shade well it's almost like a smoky gray dark smoky gray straight up matte black oh sorry that's a dark purple straight up matte black and then this is a black no not that one that's a smoky gray this one's black with that burgundy oh here you go with the burgundy sparkles can you see that so it's black but there's like a burgundy purple red sparkle in it this will also be fun to play with I feel like we're in November now, so will I play this one in November and December? I don't know. It's kind of dark for then, but you know, you never know. I probably might. So that's the Chucky one. And then these two, I remember when I seen these, and I don't know if these are the only two eyeshadow palettes or if they have a bigger one with different shades. I like colorful eyeshadow, but I feel like because I always wear neutrals, if I were to wear a color, it'd be kind of weird. 
but I could not pass up on these. One, they were on sale. Two, from the day I seen these, I was like, oh, I'd love to get those. Or I'd like to, at least, anyways. And I was like, I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it now because I want to no-buy until whenever. You know, the no-buy might go longer. I have so many eyeshadow palettes to play with and use. I've seen a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes in my day, but nothing that appealed to me like these two. So these are the Scooby-Doo 10 shade palettes. This one's called Creeps and Crawls. I can't tell you which one of these I was more excited for. I think between the two, probably this one, the Creeps and Crawls. Trying to open the packaging now. I don't care about ripping it, so that's what we're gonna do. I mean, I do like the packaging too. It's cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one too. This one's called Rut Row Raggy. So that's like Scooby is saying it. And yeah, I like the packaging. They did a good job. So this one creeps and crawls and they're shaggy on the front. You can, uh, the words are, you can feel the words. And the bats. I mean, it looks, it looks cool. Packaging feels really nice too. Ooh, yeah. Wow. That's so much, I mean, this looks identical. This is probably, well, obviously I got the Nomad palettes which are indie brand is glam light indie as well i think so man this looks this might look intimidating but to be honest it looks it's like colorful but wearable well you'll see the mirror but look at the little witch over here that's kind of funny it does say Scooby up here, which, oh, that feels fuzzy. That feels cool. What on earth? Here's the colors. It's This one's like purple, green, and blue. Top row is all shimmers. Bottom row is all mattes. If you were someone who didn't even know what to do with a palette like this, you could literally just look at this and just do duos. So these or, I mean, whatever. It wouldn't really matter. Probably like, wow, that's pretty colorful to me. Yeah, it is colorful, but to me, this is wearable color. Yep. Wow. Holy moly. I barely even got to touch these. Like, look at those. That's crazy. Wow. Here we go. There's one more shimmer I didn't swatch yet. And then look, it's still on my fingers. It's almost like I didn't even... Like, that's pigment. When you can wipe it on your hand and it still looks like you didn't even wipe it off your hand. That's retarded. That is crazy. What one did I not dip into? I think this last one right here. Wow. Like, look how cool. That's so pretty. Ooh. I'm excited to use this. You can even like put them on your eye like an eyeliner. Like you could do like a, even like a neutral eye with like brown or beiges or whatever. And then take one of these and even do like, uh, you could do like a fun graf graphic liner and go through your crease with a thin line. You could do like a wing liner with these. You could just do this underneath. You could just do this all over. Like these are fun. Those are fun. I feel like, the ones from this palette give off more than that martini. Because, like, the well, I guess, but these ones are 
they're kind of like light pastel like it is it is a neutral one right but these ones really pop like they did good with this one and that's just swatching it on my hand so like i'm looking i mean you'll see too you can mix these obviously i think you can tell by the packaging what this story is going to lean towards scooby and shaggy so this is the rut row raggy Ten shade palette. This one again, I feel like this one's wearable. It's colorful, but it's wearable colors. Here's the monster in this one. Is that Frankenstein? Kinda. I think it kind of looks like Frankenstein. And then this one's the blues, blue and green. And there's still purple in this one too. <clears throat> So like the top row is the shimmers and then the bottom row is the mattes. Let's try these. Ooh. So here's the first four. So these ones, those are pretty. I want to get that last one swatched too. Just give me a second. Oh my, look at that. Wow. I, ooh. I already wiped the other ones off on the cloth. And so here's those ones. This one's on my knuckle. So it, you might be like, oh, that one's weird. It's just because it's on my knuckle. Look at that green. I like that. That one look, these two kind of look like they have like a duo chrome to them. Especially that one. I've never tried anything from this brand before. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So hopefully, I mean, I've seen lots of people use these palettes on their channel, but you know, with filters and whatnot, people can play with things, man. I know right now, so what I'm seeing, it looks like I have a filter uh, or my face does not look this good. I mean, maybe it does, but not. Um, yeah, I'm not going to swatch the mats. We will see how those play out. But that's what I got from Glamlight, and I am glad these are the ones I picked out. So the two Scooby ones, which you can also combine these two together. You don't have to use just one, like... You can play with them together. I'm thinking the reason why too they did these separate is if they would have made one made this just as one palette. Some people, if you're like me, you'd be like, "What do I do?" But uh, there's a lot of color combinations you can do here. I will say though, that these two shades right here. Kinda looks similar. I'm gonna. I am gonna swatch those right quick, just out of curiosity. Wow, that's so. Look at that. Okay, they look similar, but shit, are they? They're not. I need to be able to show you guys. I'll probably do it right here. Wow, these are soft. Just give me a second. I'm going to build it up. Because it's on the camera. They'll come off really... I'll make sure you guys can see the difference. 
I thought for a second I couldn't see the difference, but see how <clears throat> this one's like an aqua green and this one's like a, a teal. Is that what you call it? I don't know. They're, dif they're different. I thought they looked the same or similar. Uh, that's crazy how soft those are. On my fingers, they look the same. You see that? But this one's more like a teal. This one's more like a green aqua. I don't know. I don't know my colors. What one will I use? You know what? When I go to Miriam's this week, because uh, I'm going out there tomorrow, Thursday, she told me whatever morning I want to go is fine with her. I'll probably end up going tomorrow. And I'm going to wear one of my Care Bear shirts. I might use uh, one of these and do a colorful look. I won't record it, though. I will do a get ready with me. Definitely on Saturday. I feel like right now I'm just chillaxing. Like yesterday I spent the whole... I did two... I did two loads of laundry. Like I washed two loads of laundry. Put both loads away as soon as they came out. I did the floors. Did the bathroom, kitchen... That was pretty much it. I spent, and then I watched Criminal Minds. I also, I didn't like that meal plan I had on the side of the fridge there that much. So I gave that to Gray so she could use it for whatever. I kind of like, I want everything in one spot, not something on the fridge, not something in a book. I want something that's tangible just in one place so i have from november 20th which was yesterday and each week i have the date in our suppers so i have currently four weeks here uh december 11th to december 17th so all the suppers are written here um i told matt no matter what we just need to stick to whatever the heck it is that i have written down here there's no repeats here so if you're wondering which you're probably not <clears throat> butter chicken and rice what we had yesterday uh today we're i have written down pulled pork but i realized i put back when i was at walmart i grabbed pork ribs instead of a pork loin so we're gonna do ribs today pork ribs which is fine tomorrow we're doing salmon and potatoes thursday i have written down leftovers which would be leftovers of whatever we have today. Now let's just say there's no leftovers Thursday. Tomorrow before I go to bed, I will haul out something random, probably like chicken drum, chick I'll probably haul out chicken drums or a pack of, well actually in this case it would be chicken drums because Friday I'm making chili. So Friday will be chili, Saturday leftovers. So if there's no pork ribs left for Thursday, which I'm going to assume there won't be, I think I'm just going to pull out some chicken drums and we'll have that with pasta. Sunday, roast chicken and potatoes. I know we're not going to the grocery store this weekend. Next week we're doing, so it starts every week. I start every week on a Monday, end it on a Sunday. The Sundays are all pretty much going to be the same. It's either going to be a roast chicken supper or a pork, pork roast supper. One or the other. Uh, Monday we're doing cod and potatoes. I'm just undecided if I want to do like cod au gratin. Uh, homemade cod balls or whatever you want to call it. Like batter my own cod. Which I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But the reason why I'm not sure. Which I'll tell you here in a minute. So Monday... It's cod potatoes Tuesday burgers. I'm undecided if we want to do homemade or cook up random ones that are here. Either way, we're not going to the store this weekend, but Matt will have to pick up burger buns. Uh, or I can get David to run to the store and grab burger buns for Tuesday. Wednesday, frozen pizzas. Tuesday. Sorry, Thursday Big Mac salads. So actually, whenever whoever goes to get burger buns, they will pick up the lettuce for the Big Mac salads. Because we have everything else. We just need burger buns and the lettuce. 
Then next Friday, chicken balls and rice. Saturday, leftovers, pork roast and potatoes. Um, and that pretty much covers the, yeah. December 4th to December 10th, we got chicken drums and rice, goulash, leftovers, donairs, order in. And here's something, we ordered takeout a couple of nights ago, an hour, like, too much time went by. Anyway, I said the order was delivered and they sent a photo. I got on there. I was like, that is not where we live. Like, they took a photo outside of someone's house where they dropped our food off at. Anyways, Matt was ticked off. So, we had the option for them to just give us the money back. Or they could credit it to our Skip the Dishes account. So, we had them credit it to our Skip the Dishes account. And we were like... Matt and I were like, we'll just keep that there for one time to order in next month. So we will do that. The That Friday, whatever that is. I think it lands on the 8th, December 8th, which is a Friday. And then sub sandwiches, homemade ones, and then roast chicken potatoes. And then the week after, December 11th to December 17th, we got pork carnitas, quesadillas with the leftover pork carnita meat. Tuna casserole. I gotta ask you something in a minute. Actually, I'll ask you later. Right. Leftovers. Salad and ribs. Salad and wings. And then chicken supper. So that goes from yesterday right up till December 17th. All written out. No repeats, really. Anyways. <clears throat> I did this up the other night. Out of boredom. I was like, I'm just gonna keep going and make my own meal planner. So every week I have written out, like this one's from December 18th to the 24th. So like every week I've gone as far as to do right up till January 5th of 2025. Um, and you might be like, why'd you do that? Because you know what? I will just, as the week's end of the month comes, I will sit down Meal plan. I asked Leah her top favorite meals just to get more meal ideas, see if they're different from Matt and the kids. David and Grace gave me theirs. They both had hot dogs, which I'm just like, ugh. Well, I that well originally you're like, hot dogs, burgers. Like, <laughs> uh, Matt never gave me nothing yet. And then I have my favorite as well. So, like, once we get through the next, all these ones, I'm going to take all the suggestions that everybody gave. And I will fill out the next four weeks and get those in there. And then, yeah. And then I have no problem going back through and doing like a whole repeat again. Because um, I know, like Leah said, they have like a few things that they just rotate. I can't do that. I could do like Sunday supper every Sunday because I can just switch the meat. And we, I mean, who doesn't like meat, potatoes and gravy and stuff, right? <clears throat> but, like, to do Taco Tuesday every week? No. To do spaghetti every week? No. To do goulash every week? No. There's just some things I cannot do. I need the whole month, and pretty much the whole month, to be something completely different. And I could 100%, I'd be fine repeating the same month of suppers every month. But, you know, add one new thing in there, here and there. But I cannot, I would not be able to do that. I would get so bored, because I like food. Okay, I like food. Even if it makes me go in the bathroom, I just can't do the rotation. Because even at Matt's parents' house, they had a rotation as well. And I'm pretty sure we ate the same thing week after week after week. And I think it's just because it is it is easy. It's simple. You know what it's going to cost. You know what you got to get to buy it. I already know if I were to, we were to do that, we could definitely probably cut. We could definitely cut our groceries Spending in half, but we would get bored. Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to talk about in this video <clears throat> because I'm not doing a get ready with me or that today. I want to show my order, do a quick chat. And yeah, nobody else here has COVID. I'm going to drink my drinks and go watch Criminal Minds because I think I'm gonna, I am going to go to Miriam's tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Saturday for sure. Because I'll do a get ready with me. Matt and I is going to the hockey game. Uh, 
we're not going to do a date supper like last time. Um, I don't think we need to. We'll eat supper here with the kids and then go to the hockey game. And yeah, will I come on here before then? Maybe. We'll see. I need to, you know, I need to gather a few days or a week or so so I can come on here and actually have something to talk about. Because it's like, you know, when people call you and they just ask you the same questions every time and you give the same answer every time. I don't want it to be like that where I come on here and I just talk about the exact same thing every time. Which I pretty much do. I'm like, oh, I'm doing some cleaning today. I mean, but I do do the same things every day. I'm cleaning. Cleaning and cooking. And playing with makeup. I, would, I was trying to get tickets to the Trolls movie, but the day that I want to we want to take Grace, they're not showing any showings at our theater, so we could go to a different theater. We'll see. <clears throat> I might hold off and not go to movies this month and go next month, but we'll see. Anyways, I have to go confer with David about something. Do you already know what I'm, it is? Thank <laughs> you. Anyways, I'll see you guys another day.